It ends with us, 2024. I've seen this twice now. I decided to see it again with a friend who wasn't able to see it when I first saw it. And I found it very interesting watching it twice over because, of course, the second time I knew what was going to happen. It changed my attitude right from the start. I found it more uncomfortable to watch simply because there are strong dynamics between the characters. I'm going to try and talk about this film without explaining what it's about, although there is a lot of information. I've come across a few news articles. There's some controversy, some fallout between some of the filmmakers and the actors playing the key characters. So there's Blake Lively, Christy Hall on one side and there's Justin Baldoni on the other who appear to have clashed. What I try and do is avoid finding out too much before I see a film simply because I don't want to have spoilers. I'm thinking it might do a second review at a later date which will include spoilers but all I'll say is that this is a romantic drama and the key characters are Lily played by Blake Lively and Ryle played by Justin Baldoni. There's some further key characters. There's Elisa who friends Lily because she's working in this flower shop and there's Atlas who is a character Lily talks about at the start when she first meets Ra but then there's coincidences this is the second coincidence the earliest coincidence is that Lily meets Ra early on Uh, She happens to be at the top of this building, apartments, I think. Meets Ra when he's getting angry with a chair, of all things. She starts a friendship. It gets a bit more than a friendship at that point. And then they sort of don't expect to see each other again. And then she meets him again simply because Elisa happens to be Ra's sister. But then Atlas is a character from earlier in Lily's life and he happens to be in the same town, city rather, Boston. And so there's these interweaving stories. There's some very strong dynamics, some significant events happen in this film that change how people feel about the relationships. And that's what a lot of the stories that have appeared in the press relate to as well it's just the treatment that the characters have given this now I found it a really interesting film and watching it a second time I felt really uncomfortable because once you know more about what actually happens and you see how the film plays out the way the scenes are cut in particular I pay attention to things like that. I started noticing more on the second occasion. I saw things, I saw more intensity and that colours my judgement. I started feeling more uncomfortable early on and wanted things to be different. I suppose I wanted the characters to judge each other differently but of course if you don't know something you don't know and of course there's elements like Lily at one point in her first conversation with Raal says that she's an unreliable narrator and I wonder if that's why the cuts are put in but I think it's more because it's trying to create a level of uncertainty in this film and then the certainty comes across strongly and you can see that but of course the second time I saw it and I saw where the cuts were made and I thought wow yeah that's interesting because the situation looks ambiguous and that's why I felt it was ambiguous first time round. Of course second time I know exactly what's going to happen later on. I think it's really well put together and I like that about this story and yeah I can see that some people will see it critically and I think there are some elements that 
feel slightly less plausible. Maybe these coincidences that happen, I mean, they do happen in small and medium-sized cities, and I guess in Boston, you do run into people that you run into early in your lives, can come across people again and again in different situations. It's happened in my life. I've bumped into the same people a lot later on. If they're quite significant characters in the film, you can see that it matters a lot. And of course, lots of people aren't that significant. I mean, I've just kept continuity with the significant people in my life. I've been lucky in some ways that that's happened. But I thought the acting was really good. I found it more intense when I was watching it a second time because I was observing really intensively as well. I am going to score this 9 out of 10. I really recommend it as a film. I think it's really good treatise of the subject in hand and when you know what the subject is beyond it being a romantic drama, you find out more about it, it's put together well because you follow the characters, you especially follow things from Lily's point of view. You do see things from some of the other characters' point of view as well. You can see other elements that might create some doubt when things get difficult, when there's quite a challenge in a relationship. You want to understand things all round you want to find the truth and I think this explains the truth and it gives it from a particular standpoint and I think that really made this a very good film. I really liked it. It's a very cis and straight film. I don't think there are any LGBTQ characters in the film. can't think of any. The main characters, the main relationships or heterosexual that's fine there's only a few of them so understand that i find it a riveting interesting well acted well scripted film i like to read the book that the film is based on that often gives more details and if i get the chance i'll do that love to know what you think about this film thanks for subscribing if you do subscribe thanks for liking this film if you like it hope to see you again. Bye for now.